hockey fans. My name is Zoe Emerson, and you are watching Season 1, Episode 4 of On and Off the Ice with Zoe Emerson. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the current National Hockey League standings, the NHL allowing fans in arenas because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and other news going on in the hockey world. With the current NHL season reaching the midpoint, it is now time to check in on the NHL standings and see who is topping each division. As of right now, the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers top the, the Discover Central division. The Washington Capitals and the New York, and the New York Islanders top the, Ma the Mass Mutual East division. The Vegas Golden Knights and the Minnesota Wild top the Honda West division. And the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Winnipeg Jets top the Scotia North or Canadian division. The Lightning, Panthers, Capitals, and Islanders top the league at 42 points in a four-way tie for first place. <music> Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, with the NHL suspending its season, there were no fans at, at last season's games. However, 19 teams have allowed fans at some limited capacity. Some, like the Detroit Red Wings, only allow 750 fans, while the Florida Panthers have allowed 4,812 fans maximum in their arenas. Something fun that, that's going on in Washington, D.C. is that the Washington Capitals are selling cardboard cutouts of fans for $75 each. If you're interested in buying one, you can buy one on their website. It is no secret that the National Hockey League is lesser known compared to the NFL, MLB, and NBA. However, the new deal with ESPN might change that. ESPN reached an agreement with the NHL for seven seasons of streaming, media, and television. And the NHL is still working to finalize TV deals with Fox Sports and NBC Sports. Chicago Blackhawks legend Brent Seabrook retires after 15 seasons and three Stanley Cups due to injuries. Brent Seabrook played a crucial role in all three of the Chicago Blackhawks' dynasty seasons in, in 2010, 2013, and 2015. Best of luck to Brent Seabrook in his retirement. Several NHL coaches have been relieved of, of, the, of their jobs. The Buffalo Sabres fired R Ralph Kruger, and Don Granada was named as the replacement. The Calgary Flames gave Jeff Ward the boot, and Daryl Sutter takes over. The Montreal Canadiens axe Claude Julien and, and Dominique Ducharme fills the head coach role. Now, we only typically talk about the National Hockey League, but there was some very sad news coming out of the Continental Hockey League in, in, in Russia and Western Europe. 19-year-old MHK Dynamo captain and defenseman Timur Fezadinov passed away Tuesday after taking a puck to the head during a game. Fezadinov suffered a temporal bone fracture, cerebral hemorrhage, and damaged carotid artery artery and it was deemed inoperable. He, he passed away after a day and a half on life support. Our condolences go out to Fezadinov's family, friends, and teammates and to everyone who knew him. I hope you guys all learned something new today and peace out hockey fans!